What's up you guys? Charge Miss Prime here, looking like a damn Christmas tree with a red shirt and a green beanie on. Uh, it's been a really good week for Marvel trailers. I'm going to talk about two trailers in this video. Uh, one of them was a sneak peek for Guardians of the Galaxy 2, or Volume 2, that was released yesterday. And man, a uh, really nice sneak peek. Not as cool as the exclusive footage that we saw at Comic-Con San Diego earlier this year. They showed us a lot of stuff over there. Uh, especially with Yondu, so if you'd seen that, you're not really going to be blown away with what we got in this latest sneak peek, but still really cool. Uh, what I got from it is I feel like Batista is a lot more comfortable on camera, and I'm not really going to give away spoilers or anything, but you can see links in the description below to both of those trailers. Um, actually, you know what? Screw it, I will give spoilers. Okay, spoiler warning, yeah, because there's not that much to really talk about, and they're just trailers, right? So, anyway... You've been warned. Spoilers, okay? Drax hugs Star-Lord. Yep, I gave it away. Sorry, sorry, yep, but they hug. Yeah, so that was... That was like the, the punchline of that whole trailer anyway. <laughs> but I thought it was a very fun trailer. At the very end, you see a little bit of Rocket Raccoon and the toddler Groot, which was great. Uh, at the, the footage that we see... Uh, or we saw at San Diego Comic Con, you see a lot of toddler Groot, and uh, it, it was really funny from what we had seen over there, and this is fairly consistent with that. Uh, one thing I did pick up on also is that we see Nebula all reformatted and everything, so that looked really cool. Um, so I'm just really excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That's, I, I, I love the first one. I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. I don't see how I could not. I'm already sold, man! And apparently Disney and Marvel have been sold on it because they announced Mar uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 way back, even before the first one even hit the theaters, so uh, I was like, wow, you guys are incredibly confident in this, and I think uh, most of us are probably going to like it, I don't know. So anyway, we'll find out. But then today, uh, we got the release, and thanks Brian for sending over the link, bro, thank you. Um, Logan. Oh, and I gotta give a thanks to Blue Dude for the Guardians trailer too, I just have people sending me links all the time. But uh, yeah, the Logan trailer was uh, released, so it was like, you know... Marvel shot like a Hadouken, and then, you know, Fox came back with Shuriken, so, um, but I thought the Logan trailer was freaking amazing, and it actually started giving me some thoughts as to where I think 20th Century Fox is going with their X-Men franchise. I am just speculating, but I think they're wrapping up, right? I mean, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, this is Hugh Jackman's last film as Wolverine. Is that correct? Am I wrong about that? Let me know in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure that's his last film. Same with Patrick Stewart, too. So it looks like they're just closing everything off, I'm, and this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that they close everything off, and uh, Fox and, and Marvel they make sweet cinematic love, production love to each other. And then, out of that love, we get this new baby, which I would like to call the X-Men MCU. And we would get a very short Wolverine. I am hoping that we get to like, pick somebody that's short and stocky to play you know, the runt. That would be great. Um, and a whole new uh, reboot, as far as the X-Men franchise goes, that would match and fit in with the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we have right now. Because I'm willing to put all that stuff to rest. Dude, that, sh that is old. That, that, old that, that whole Fox franchise is old stuff. It's been around for over 15 years, man. Over 15 years. Like, you can put it to rest and we can do a reboot. That We've had reboots that were only, you know, from franchises that were only around for, like, a couple of years, and then boom, rebooted, right? I mean, the Spider-Man franchise was rebooted how many times now? Like, at least three times. So, well, I mean, reboot, so two times, right? So we had Raimi, and then we had Garfield, and now we have Holland. I mean, that's that's three different Spider-Men in the same length of time we've had the one Wolverine. So I'm totally down for a reboot, and I've liked my X-Men franchise. I didn't really like Apocalypse so much. I didn't really like First Class that much, and there's a lot, like half of them I like and half of them I don't like. So I'm willing to let that go. I've enjoyed it. This Logan looks like it's going to be really cool, though. Getting back to the Logan, I love how they're shooting this already. Um, I love that they're using the iconic hanging hand, you know, the iconic worn Old Man Logan hand from the comics. I think Millar wrote the Old Man Logan book, the first Old Man Logan book. We see a character in there that kind of reminds me of uh, the Hawkeye, even though I know it's not Hawkeye, but the guy kind of looked like Hawkeye with the, ga with the glasses and everything. Uh, and then the big thing is X-23. Okay, 
So, X-23 and Wolverine team up. Uh, we do see the dual claws from her coming down on Wolverine. And he's, you know, blocking it and everything. Uh, we do see her jumping around and attacking people. We didn't actually ever really see her, you know, a full body shot of the girl with the claws coming out, though. So, uh, I guess, like, they're trying to, you know, save something, which is fine. But there's definitely a clip of her jumping around, bouncing back and forth, and, and attacking bad guys and everything. Uh, Patrick Stewart looks really... Is he really that old? I mean, they're making him look older than he actually is, right? Because Patrick Stewart just looks like he's going to live forever. Like... He looks like Picard, like he's never moved away from how I remember him as Jean-Luc Picard. He's just never changed the whole way through. So to see him look this old, I'm like, nah, nah, that's got to be CGI or makeup or something. You know, that, nah, he's, he's, got, he's supposed to look the same always, so, <laughs> which is foolish on my part. But at the same time, it's Hollywood and people just have a tendency to just be immortal. Look at freaking Tom Cruise. That guy has not aged a freaking second. And I don't know what movie he's going to be in, but I saw a promo image and he looked like all Batman yoked. I was like, wow, okay, there you go. Just keep doing your thing, man. But anyway, I liked what I saw. Uh, I was very pleased with it. I'm very excited for it. It looks like it's going to be a very bloody movie. I'm really stoked about that. It looks like it's going to be a very violent, fun movie as well. And it looks like it's going to be Pretty well written, from what I can tell, just off of this trailer, which isn't a whole lot, but it looks like, you know, you can get a feeling of what people are going to do with the movie by these trailers, because you can tell if it's stupid people or smarter people, right? You can see, like, the movies where they just show you everything all at once, and then by the time you get to the movie theater, like, oh, I saw all this in the trailer, or you, or you even, before you get to see the movie, you feel like you've seen the whole movie, right? Like Amazing Spider-Man 2, right? We all felt like we'd seen the movie before we had actually watched the movie. Which tells you that the people putting together, they're a little bit derp, you know, a little dumb. Just a little bit stupid, right? So, I have a feeling just the way they're handling this Logan trailer, not so stupid. I feel like they're, you know, they're, they're being careful and, and everything with what they're doing. So, I have faith in it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about both of these trailers. I'm really excited. I love my comic book movies and I'll catch you later. Peace!